Hi, Patrick. Um, is that, how do you feel about that? It's a, you, you could have probably gone on and won the game, but there was a mad four minutes in that game. Sorry? There was a mad four minutes. You, you were so in control before that point, but the, the two goals kind of changed the face of the game. Yeah, I think in the, in the first half, especially the end of the first half, I think we, we get punished by stopping playing after scoring the first goal. I think scoring the first goal, because we started the game quite really well, we scored that first goal and then we, we completely stopped playing. I think we were making too many touches. We, we were playing individually and not collectively. And, uh, and they start to build their confidence and, and then they score those two goals. And I think in the first half, we played 10, 15 minutes. So is that a, a frustration that you should have probably gone on the three points? When you're looking at the game overall, I think I'm really I'm pleased to take a point because I think they played some really good football. They pressed us quite really high and we didn't manage to play through that pressure. And, um, and at the end, they had a couple of chances as well or a couple of situations. So... I think the, the, the points that we took tonight regarding the way we played, I don't think we deserve more than that. And I just have to ask, you've played with some terrific free kick takers in your time. How good is James Ward-Prowse at it? I know it's, it's probably painful. Yeah, it's painful, but you have to uh, recognise the quality of the players on the set pieces. And I think when he's a corner or he's a wide free kick or central free kick, we knew that is one of the strength of the team. And, uh, and I think his chances take it, take it really well. And in those situations, you just have to congratulate the player. Thanks, Patrick. Thank you. Neil McClellan, the mirror. Yeah, hi Patrick. Uh, and um, Jordan I scored the, his first goal for a while. I know goal uh, forwards always love to score goals. He contributes a lot, but how important good, good will that be for his confidence today? I think he's massively important um, because forward, more goals you score and more confident you are about yourself. But the message has always been clear with Jordan. What I want from him is to keep playing the way he's been playing lately uh, because his work ethic for the team it's, uh, it's what we need and what we want. And obviously, if we score goals, it's better for the team. But he gets awarded by uh, what he's doing on the field. And, um, and I'm really happy that he, he scored that goal. Thank you. Matt Rosman, The Athletic. Hi, Patrick. Um, just following up on, on John Nye, do you think that, you know, that that would be the start of a, a run of form where he continues to sort of get some goals. He was ever excellent against Everton as well. Um, and, and also, what did you say anything to him after the, the Man United game where he sort of missed that opportunity? No, I think when he missed that opportunity that, um, you know, the focusing is was about what he's doing for the team, what work he's doing for the team. And I think we need to talk about it. And uh, because... You know, he's, uh, he's sacrificing himself for the team. He's working hard for the team. And that is what we need. That is what we want. Obviously, the goals will, will come. Uh, what was important for us is how can we create as a team chances to allow him to be in a good opportunity to score those goals. So he wasn't lucky against United. He was lucky about some of the games. But today he was at the right place and he take the chance. He scored. And, um, and this is really good for him, it's really good for the team, and hopefully there is more to come from him. And just a quick word on Vicente Guaita. Um, obviously, Jack Butland um, came in today. Is, is Vicente OK? Yeah, hopefully, yes. He was on the bench and uh, we didn't want to take any risk. And uh, we just have to see how he will improve in the next couple of days. Thank you. Thanks, George Sessions, PA. Hi, Patrick. Um, you're set to go to Watford on, on Saturday now, but I'm sure you would have seen their game was called off today um, due to the COVID outbreak. You know, would that have sort of played a part in, in your team selection tonight in terms of the whole week, having a free game week, or did it not, did not change much knowing that that game was off and there's now a chance that you may not play on Saturday? No, no, no. We, we did not uh, talk about uh, the Watford game. The main 
focus and to make the best selection for the game uh, tonight. Um, obviously, we saw that uh, the Watford game was was postponed. So for us, we just have to keep preparing ourselves and uh, and until then, waiting what the Premier League will will have to say. But our plan for the rest of the week we're not going to change and we will prepare it like the game will uh, will happen yeah sure i mean you know Watford are one of several clubs aren't they to to have had outbreaks um i don't want to kind of tempt fate but palace seem to have you know escaped that so far does it almost feel like a matter of time until every club has an outbreak at the minute just just given how bad it is at the minute yeah but i don't think it's just about football i think is the cases uh, in the country and uh, I think every club, uh, like ourselves, try to do the best to to avoid those cases. Um, we have a, a protocol that we are following, and uh, our doctor, our medical staff, are behind the players and try to make them understand how important it is to put aside our so so social uh, life. I will say at the moment. And um, and I think uh, so far the players are, are doing a, a good job, but we will have to be consistent every day, every week, and uh, until um, until things will uh, will get better. Thanks, George. Um, Jeremy Langdon from Sky. Yeah, hi, Patrick. Um, big night for Jack Butland. How, how do you think he did? And could he have done anything more with the two goals? Because they were they were pretty good strikes, weren't they? Yeah, I think the two strikes that he conceded, that we conceded, it was really difficult, uh, difficult for him. But I like the the presence that that he has in uh, in goal. Um, it's never easy when you don't play really often, and um, you know, um, as a team because he's part of the team. I think we try to to play uh, our normal game, but it was really difficult with the pressure that uh, that they uh, that they put on us. Thank you. The last one, Mark Wyatt. Thanks, Joe. Um, hi, Patrick. You guys came out after uh, after half time a little bit late, but you guys improved immediately. I thought. Um, what was going on in, in in the dressing room at half time? Was it a, a, a call for them to wake up, or uh, was it just telling them to calm down a little bit? What was it there? No, no, no. I think we we needed to we needed to wake up. We needed to wake up because. When we play at home, it's difficult to accept that a team are winning every single single ball. I think we did not accept that they wanted to win the game more than us. That is the feeling that I had in the first half. And it was important to send the message across. And I had a really good response in the second half. It was much better on the competitiveness side. And uh, we needed to match that level, and I don't think we did it in the first half. Then after we can talk about the way we play, but before playing, we need to compete and we didn't do it well enough, especially at the end of the first half. And uh, and just finally then, uh, obviously Joachim Anderson made his return tonight, which I'm sure we'll be seeing a lot of him in the future, but um, James Tompkins rightfully got a, a good sending off, a good cheer as he, as he came off the pitch. Um, just a word from you, if you don't mind, on, on the the work he's put in over the last four or five games and the role that he's had to play coming straight into the team. He's been um, he's been fantastic. Been fantastic because obviously as a player, more you play and more confidence you are and more you are feeling better physically. And he came on when the team needed him. He performed. And he did really well. And and I'm glad that he's, he's with us because he brings us his calmness, his experience, and um, he's, um, he's a positive leader. Thank you. If we don't see you until then, uh, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you and your family. Thank you. Okay, we'll leave it there. Cheers.